Hi, I'm Kiri. Welcome to the Backyard in a Box series. This series will teach you how to establish sustainable practices in your family daycare, childcare centre or preschool. In this clip, I'll show you how to set up and maintain your worm farm. As always, make sure you've got everything included in the Backyard in a Box starter pack. This should take approximately 15 minutes. Next, find a cool spot that has morning sun but is relatively shaded throughout the day. Now it's time to assemble your worm farm. Place the bedding block in a bucket with 7 litres of water. As it expands, break it into an even mix. This should take about 15 minutes. First, attach the five legs to the bottom tray. Next, attach the tap. Don't over tighten, just enough so it's watertight. Place the middle tray inside the bottom tray. The middle tray is what we call the working tray. This is where the worms live, eat and breed. The tray has holes in the bottom which allows oxygen to circulate and worm juice to drain into the bottom tray. Use about half of your bedding block to cover the base of the middle tray completely and evenly. Place the top tray inside the middle tray. Next, place the cardboard over the base of the top tray. Then, use the rest of the bedding block to cover the base completely and evenly. Spread the bag of soil over the bedding. This provides the initial base for the worms to work in. Take the worms and spread them evenly. Make sure you do this quickly because worms don't like direct sunlight. Next, spread two cups of food scraps over half of the top tray. And make sure the food scraps are no bigger than a 50 cent coin. Finally, cover all this with the worm blanket. This will help the worms stay warm and moist. Ideally, you should be feeding your worms every two to three days. However, if your worm farm starts to smell, you may be overfeeding your worms. Once a week, you should flush your worm farm. Flushing will help the worms stay moist and healthy. The two byproducts of worm farming are castings and worm juice. As they eat, the worms will excrete waste, which we call castings. They're a fantastic soil conditioner and your garden will love them. When you flush your worm farm, collect the worm juice from the tap. Remember, it's not good to over fertilise your garden, so only collect the worm juice every couple of weeks. So, after three to six months, you should have a fully operational worm farm. You'll be able to enjoy the benefits of the worm castings and the worm juice in your garden. And of course, they're a great source of entertainment for the kids. Thanks for watching.